To be able to send and receive email on your iPhone, you first need to configure your account. Start by going into Settings. Scroll down to Mail Contacts Calendars and tap it. Here on the first category, Accounts, tap Add Account and you'll see several options. iCloud is if you're registered with Apple's online mail and calendar service. Exchange is a popular type of mail service in the corporate sector. The other options, Gmail, Yahoo, AOL and Hotmail, are free online mail services and it's important to note that this is not where you can sign up with them, so make sure to create an account on their website before you come over here to set it up. Assuming that you already have an account with one of these services, let's see how to set it up. I'll choose Yahoo in this example, but the procedure is the same for Gmail, AOL and Hotmail. I'll enter my Yahoo email address and password. In the name field, I'll type in what I'd like my recipients to see as my name. In the description field, I'll type in the ID by which I'd like this account to be identified on my phone. This will be used to distinguish it from other mail accounts I may set up in the future. When I have all the information entered, I'll hit Next. Now it'll be verified by a WHO. And if correct, in the following screen I'll see a list of all the services I can sync between my Yahoo account and my phone. For now, I'll have all of them turned off except for mail. I'll tap Save. The account will be added to the phone. And now I'm back at the mail settings screen. From this point on, I'll have access to my Yahoo account through my iPhone's mail application. What I'll see when I first launch it is my inbox. To read a message I can tap the one I want. Also notice the mailboxes button at the top left corner. Tapping it will take me to the list of all the mail accounts I have on my phone. At present I only have one, which is the Yahoo account I just configured, and I can see the folders that are associated with it. Drafts is the folder that keeps all the messages I've started working on but haven't completed yet. Junk holds incoming messages that Yahoo has identified as spam. Sent holds all the messages that I've sent out. Trash holds all the messages I've deleted. And of course, Inbox holds all of my incoming messages. Now since many of us still use the mail account we have with our internet provider, I'll also show you how to set up that type of account. Go into your mail settings. Tap Add Account. Scroll down a bit and you'll see an option titled Other. Tap it. And in the next screen, tap Add Mail Account. Here, enter your email address and password. Whatever you type in the name field is what will be presented to your recipients as your name. In description, you'll type in the ID by which you'd like this account to be identified on your phone. After entering the information in the screen, tap the Next button. In the following screen, you'll be requested to enter the connection parameters for the remote mail servers. If you don't have that information, you'll need to contact your internet provider, tell them that you're setting up the mail account you have with them, and that you're required to enter the host names for their incoming and outgoing mail servers. But before you go ahead and call your internet provider, choose the IMAP protocol to handle mail for this account. This will ensure that the messages you send and receive with your iPhone appear on devices like your computer as well. With POP, however, you run the risk of messages going out of sync between devices since it's an older protocol. Accordingly, 
Programs like Microsoft Outlook on your PC and Apple Mail on your Mac should also be configured to use IMAP instead of POP so that messages you send and receive through them also appear on your phone. Another advantage of using IMAP is that any message you read on one device will be marked as read across all your other devices. So with IMAP, not only are messages synced across devices, but also their status is. Make sure to ask your internet provider to help you configure the mail account you have with them to use IMAP instead of POP on both your iPhone and your computer. OK, assuming that you have all the connection parameters from your internet provider and that you've chosen the IMAP protocol to handle mail, tap Next and the phone will attempt to connect to the remote mail servers. If the information was entered correctly, the connection will be successful. In the next screen, you'll be asked about what content other than mail you'd like your iPhone to sync with. For now, I'll just have mail turned on and tap Save. You'll get a confirmation that your account has been added and you'll be taken back to the account settings screen. I'll go into my mail application to see how the addition of this account has come along. This is how the main screen in mail looks like when you have multiple accounts set up. When I just had one, we saw the list of folders associated with that account. But now the screen is divided into two, inboxes and accounts. The inboxes category gives me quick access to the inboxes of my accounts. I can go directly into the inbox of my first account, my second account, and I can also choose all inboxes to see a converged list of the messages I've received in both of them. The VIP inbox is something we'll discuss in a later video. The accounts category below will give me access to all the folders I have in each account.